Hello, and welcome to Vulgate AI. We're a premier library platform powered by artificial intelligence. I'll take the opportunity to demonstrate the platform and the key features you'll find. The first page you'll see after logging in is the dashboard. This is the home base for Vulgate, where you can easily access any recently viewed documents, collections, and searches. You can also see activity that was done by yourself or by collaborators on any shared documents. We'll get more into the collaboration features later. Let's start by heading to Query Library. This is where we can access one of Vulgate's key features, which is the Neural Search. Neural Search leverages AI to intelligently search the library, which is vectorized, making it easy for artificial intelligence models to understand. The model looks over that data and understands your query. This is much more powerful than just a standard keyword search. I'll show you what I mean. Let's type in early church councils. You'll see that it gives me a list of the earliest councils, sorted by relevance, based on our AI's intelligent understanding of the query. Before I demo the document viewer, I'm going to quickly highlight the keyword search functionality. So instead of searching for early church councils, I could do something like Constantine. I could put in any sort of string that I'd like, one word or more. And as you can see, I get results based on the exact keyword. At this point, I'm going to click in and start looking through some of these results. So once I click into a result, you can see it will pop open in the preview mode on the right-hand side. So the real advantage, and another feature in Vulgate, is that you can easily switch between different search results. This makes it very easy to find exactly what you're looking for. You can quickly peek in and out of documents until you settle on the one that might be the most relevant. Let's say this is the one that I want to spend some more time on. I can switch to full view, or I can click and go into editing mode to open up the full view editor. Once it's loaded, you'll see some new options in terms of editing features. I can start marking up the text, or I can start highlighting content. As you can see, I have various highlighting colors that I can use. I can also add comments to the document. This is where we offer some really cool collaboration features. Since all of the documents in Vulgate are available in full, you can share these documents with other users. I'm just going to drop a comment that says, Test123. You can see that puts my name on it, as well as my comment. Now, if I wanted to share this document and collaboratively work on it with somebody else, I can hit the sharing button, and it will automatically send an email to another user as long as they're already in the Vulgate platform. The invited user will then get an email that they can accept and view the document with annotations. If I'm coming to this document for the first time, I can go to View Comments. I can then see a full list of comments that are on this document. At this point, you might note that this is not the full document. This is an excerpt from a larger work, which is the Encyclopedia Dictionary of the Christian East. So, rather than making the full document available with an infinite scroll, which can be very annoying for a user to navigate, we instead rely on the power of search. Why? Think for a second about just how much people rely on search engines like Google. Have you ever found yourself typing in a keyword to Google, even though you know the exact website name you are going to? For example, Googling Gmail instead of typing in gmail.com, we've all done it, simply because it's easier. That's the intuitive, frictionless experience we are mirroring in Vulgate to make research a breeze and much less cumbersome than typical research databases. I can also search through this individual work by going to the table of contents. I can view the full list of all of the excerpts and or chapters in the work depending on how it's broken up. I can search over it, or I can browse through these one by one. If I feel like I'm in the right neighborhood, I can go back and forth between the breakpoints. So as you can see, user-friendliness and usability is top priority when it comes to what we've prioritized here in Vulgate. I'm going to hop back into editing mode and show a couple other features, starting with summary mode. With this feature, you can generate summaries for any excerpts. If I click the summary button and there has already been a summary previously generated in the system, it will automatically show the summary right away. If there hasn't been a summary generated yet, you can go ahead and generate one. 
This will send a request to our AI model, which will read the work and then generate an intelligent summary in a paragraph, or however long it deems necessary, to give a succinct but comprehensive summary of the piece in question. Another feature we have, and one that is very helpful in terms of research of historical works or cross-lingual works, is the ability to translate documents and excerpts directly in the editor. If I hit the Translate button, the Translation Selector widget will pop open. I can then select the translation that I would like to translate this work into. Let's say I want to work on this in Greek. It will generate a machine translation into one of the 25 languages available using leading machine translation technology. I could then choose to work on this translation in editing mode, or I could work on the source language and compare it side by side. This allows for easy comparison between the source text and the translated text. I also have the ability to search the works in the database using the inventory search mode. I can start typing in a query of a particular work that I might be looking for in the database. Then I can go through table of contents and browse this work just like any other. I can also head into editing mode in the full view, just like we had demonstrated before. Another incredible feature in Vulgate is our AI document ingestion tool. This tool uses cutting edge AI technology, including computer vision and natural language processing. This allows us to not only just extract text, like you would with traditional OCR technology, but also to intelligently parse that data, remove the noise, and get the content, even if there are errors in the original text. This end-to-end -end process in Vulgate is something that traditional OCR tools do not offer. This could save hundreds, and at scale, thousands of hours of manual work that typically goes into this process. To demonstrate this process, let's take an excerpt from a book, The History of the Settlement of Virginia. As you can see, this book has some noise and a multitude of different metadata that needs to be parsed, like footnotes. Typical OCR software will just extract everything and leave it to the editor to parse the data manually. Usually, it all comes in one big jumble, or if it is parsed, it requires a lot of manual work to go and clean things up, categorize the metadata, and remove the unnecessary pieces. This is where leveraging the power of AI is going to save a ton of time. Back to our document ingestion tool, I'm going to extract a few pages from this work. I'm going to add in all of the details in the document which will be visible to the end user. I can also put in special instructions if there is something particular about the document that the AI should take into account. For example, let's say you wanted handwritten comments in the margins extracted as well. I could drop some instructions for the AI. Moving on, I'm going to take seven pages from the work, drop the image files into the Attach Files section, and hit Submit. This will send the images to our AI model to upload and then begin processing the documents one by one. You can see that once the documents have been successfully uploaded, it splits them into chunks of five pages at a time so that the AI model can intelligently process them. That's another feature of the AI ingestion. It combines the pages and seamlessly blends the end of one page into the beginning of the next. That way, if a chapter is running over a number of pages, it is intelligently extracted into one seamless chapter by the AI. This is unlike traditional OCR tools, which will have the data spliced into individual pages, or on the other hand, combined into one massive unstructured data dump. Either way, the AI model automatically handles a lot of post-processing work typically done manually. Back to our document, it does take a while for the AI to process, but once each chunk is processed, you'll see a check mark appear beside it. Once the document is done processing, you'll see it is broken down by chapter with headers, subheaders, and content all intelligently parsed. You can see that the footnotes in this case have been removed, though I could have asked the AI to keep those. Either way, you have seamless text here with just the data we want, all prepared with a few keystrokes and no human interaction. That said, if there happens to be any transcription issue, or if you want to add some additional notes or context, you can hit the Edit button to make direct changes to the text before it gets uploaded into the system. Once you're ready, 
you can go ahead and upload the document parts directly into the database. As you can see, this is extremely seamless document ingestion powered by AI. That caps off the key features of Vulgate AI. If you have any questions about Vulgate, please reach out to us on our website, request a demo, and we'll show you even more of what the platform has to offer. Thanks.